Hi folks, I'd like to go over how to do a twine stance or twine step properly. There's lots of names for this in the various lineages of Tai Chi. I just call it twine stance because that's what a lot of people call it and that's actually the action that you're doing. Now, when you do a twine stance, this is used often in the yang form where you're going from brush knee and twist step or where you're doing wild horse parts main. So for example, in wild horse parts main, when you do the sequence, you sit back and here's the twine. Okay, and then you go into an L stance, then a bow and arrow with a twist step, etc. Now, the twine stance is awesome because what it does is it loads a lot of energy into your quad. You can use that for a fast turn, or you could use it to do a kick, or you could just absorb that energy into your body. Now, how you do this is important because if you don't do it right, you actually risk hurting your knees. Let's say I just did a wild horse parts main and I'm going to do another one. So what I'm doing with my feet, I'm going to take my hands out of the picture. I'm going to sit back. Now, I'm going to open from my qua. This is my left foot. Now, what you often see people do is this, like some kind of weird thing like fourth position ballet, but it's not quite. <laughs> and that's bad because if you look at this, I have my weight here and here, and look how my knees are pointing. They're like this, but my body's going this way. Knees are not really meant to point out that way. That's, you don't walk like this, okay? You're just not built for that. So don't use yourself in a way that you're not built for. It's like you don't take wooden square tires and put that on your car and expect a smooth ride. It doesn't work. So here's what we do. If you want to twine out, Let's say I'm going to twine to the south or to 6 o'clock. Make sure that your stance is not too wide. So if you need to, pull your foot in first of all. Okay? Then open up from your quad. It's like you're turning your thigh out. Now what you're going to do, you have two things. You have, you have a sort of seesaw motion and you have a twisting motion. So it's kind of complex. So what you need to do is turn it out. Tip your weight onto it, but refrain from leaning forward. You almost have to lean back a little bit into it. And then immediately turn your hips, or turn your waist, turn your whole area here, your pelvis. Let go immediately of that back leg. Never bear the weight on both legs with the knees going this way and that. Martially, no good. For health and healing, horrible. So there's no reason to do that at all, right? Okay, again, let's put a foot out. This is my left, if you want to follow me. Flare open from the quad. Now, as I tip onto this, I have to immediately turn, as if somebody's holding me by my sash and turning me. And then my back foot is an empty stance. I want to make sure that I'm not leaning, then I lose the energy in the quad. I have to tuck my pelvis a little. That will preserve the energy here. Then I could go, say, I don't know, into an L stance again right? Then I could do another twist step if I wanted to, and then relax. Here's another twine, a forward twine. The forward leg opens up. I'm going to open it as far as I can. That's great for the flexibility in your, in your pelvis and your hips. I'm going to turn it all the way to my north, or to my 12 o'clock. Now watch. I'm going to sink down, not over. I'm going to sink down, tip into it, and immediately twist. Did you pay attention to what I said? Don't tip over, actually tip under as you're tipping over. So I'm going to put my weight here, but I don't want to do this. I instead want to sink a little under as I tip onto that front foot, almost like the trough of a wave. So I'm going here, under, into that other leg. Then it never hurts, and you'll feel it. You can actually feel it. it preserves a lot of this like elastic power in there. You can also do a backward twining. What that means is you take your foot, you put it behind you. So you put it maybe next to the inside of the heel, or sorry, next to the outside of the heel. And then what you're going to do is you're going to rock your weight down onto it. The minute you start putting weight there, like a balance scale, you've got to take the weight off of here and turn. All right, so I kind of put this right leg to a right angle relative to the left foot. Sink, 
and turn. Keep nice and straight so you pirouette straight on your axis instead of letting the energy go all over the place. So you can do that to quickly turn around. Okay, and then eventually it will become very smooth and very quick. At first it's going to feel awkward. That's okay. Allow it to. Just accept it. It's no big deal. It'll feel better soon. So again, from this view, from here, where I point my toe is where my center line is going to go. Now I'm in an empty step. Okay, and then from here, I could twine out this way. Forward twine. Backward twine. Forward twine. So you can do that over and over. Then you can see how you can just spin around in a tight radius very quickly. And if you put that energy there, you can also turn the other leg into a kick, usually some kind of a roundhouse kick or something else. But it's very easy to mess up. A lot of times people just stay planted. Tai Chi people are great on staying rooted, you know, which is something that is important in Tai Chi. But again, we don't want it so rooted that it becomes imbalanced and overly in. So you don't want to ever go, okay, I'm here, now I'm going to twine. Now I'm going to pick up my foot. No, the moment, it's like a balance scale. The moment that one side tips down on the balance scale, what happens to the other side? You know what happens, it starts to tip. So imagine it's a balance scale and that it's turning at the same time. Just like that. Okay, and relax. Then you can do whatever you need to do. You want to reverse it, you can reverse it. The Wu Hao form of Tai Chi uses a lot of that stepping and hooking and twisting and twining. And it's very important that you understand how to use that harnessing gravity, not letting the energy disperse all over. Okay, so practice that. Good luck with it. Take care of yourself and enjoy your practice.